We'll get a look at our starting lineups tonight. It's senior day here for UNCG. Assad Lamont, Kale Locke, and Michael Adams, the walk-on senior from Raleigh, getting his first ever start. Deontay. He's what a walk-on should be, a guy that's ready when his name is called, uh, that's willing to do anything to help this team win, and whose work ethic and attitude is tremendous each and every day. He'll be a guy that I'll be talking about for years to come as a coach on how you should approach it as a player on, on a team. So someone that worked behind the scenes at a basketball game is now going to be suiting up in a basketball game. Michael Adams' dream was to play on a Division I basketball team. His path towards that dream began in an unlikely way. I was helping my friend Corey. Uh, he was a mascot at the time, and they had asked Corey to, uh, you know, do a documentary video like the life of a mascot. So I go to one of the girls' game in Fleming, and I'm on the sideline, you know, shooting him at the game, you know, being a mascot. And this guy named Justin comes up to me, and he was like, hey, you know, have you ever worked with cameras before? And I was like, yeah, all the time. He told me to hit him up, and so that's kind of how I got introduced to Matt. When I got here four years ago, Michael was one of the first students that we hired in athletic communications to work at our events. Michael at basketball games when he worked for us would help us set up press row pre and post game, help with the stat crew, pass out the official stats to both teams, um, media members make sure we were taken care of, uh, the media was taken care of throughout the game. When we were at basketball games with Michael's work and he always joked that he wanted to be out there, you know, he played with the guys at the, in the rec center and he, he could be out there playing with those guys. We kind of gave him a hard time. It's a big difference between the rec center and, and being on a Division One basketball team, but he had it in his mind that he was good enough to play out there uh, with, with the Spartans, and it was something that he really wanted to try for. That passion for basketball led Adams to go through walk-on tryouts. But in the end, it seemed his dream was cut short. Just from especially waking up that morning, I was nervous. I was like, you know, I'm going to go to class, get my mind right, and, you know, just hope for the best. We all got to introduce ourselves individually. And then at the first trials over, they was like, uh, if you, you know, pass the first round, you know, we'll contact you for another tryout. And then um, I got an email saying, you know, come back for another tryout. I want to say about three weeks later, um, Coach Roberts uh, emailed us and, you know, reached out to us. And uh, the email that I got had stated that, um, you know, with their roster, they was already full and they wasn't going to take anybody else on the team. I want to say about two weeks later, uh, Coach Robert actually calls me and, uh, you know, said that they had a, a few unfortunate injuries and they were down a couple numbers, so they asked me to be a practice player. We told him we'd give him a trial with our team in practice uh, and for, for a couple days. And, you know, didn't say a whole lot to him because certainly we're focused on preparing our team for the next game at that point. After a couple weeks are passed, the coaching staff came to a decision. You know, after we get done running and everything, we huddle up in the middle. Before we break it down, he said these exact words. I was talking to some of you guys earlier on the phone and last night and, you know, getting your opinion on things. And, um, well, we've been doing some thinking as a staff and, you know, as some of you guys with the players, I've talked to some of y'all and uh, Michael, we just uh, think you've been working hard and thinking that you proved to us that you can be on the team and we want to welcome you to the team. And everybody just started pouncing on me and jumping on me and uh, it was a fun moment. I actually knew a little bit before he did uh, I was on the road with the coaches when they were talking about it. Uh, so it was really hard for me not to kind of let the cat out of the bag. Currently, the Spartans are preparing for a run at the SOCON tournament title. A crown, a prize that wouldn't be possible without number 14. The ladies were saying, you know, the stats, you know, sometimes things that, you know, most important things don't show up on the stat sheet. He's, he's, a blessing to have on this team. And Michael Adams dreams of three. A year ago, he was working in the sports information office. Mike shows a positive impact. He always worked hard. 
he works real hard, so he brings a positive vibe, positive impact, you know what I'm saying? Gives us a last in the locker room. For to take Mike for granted, we wouldn't be as successful as we were today. If we take practice or anything for the game of basketball for granted and don't put that time in and work and do what it takes to win, then we wouldn't be where we are today. So it really, things that Mike do, does these days really helps us. Well, one thing I definitely take away from, you know, my whole four years being here is, uh, you know, I really truly found out who I was. Figuring out your purpose in life, you know, you're not entitled to anything. And everything you do earn, you know, be grateful for it. Truly anything is possible, you know, never let somebody tell you that you can't do something. And if you really have your mind stuck to that, you can achieve anything you want to do. There you go.